Hey guys, welcome to BJ Tech News, episode 21. Uh, today's episode, uh, I'm basically going to show you guys how to keep the original partition when using MDT 2012. As you know, when you're deploying an image within MDT 2012, it actually formats it and partitions it for you. So that means when you get a brand new machine and that machine has like a, uh, a recovery partition or it has a or you're uh, imaging a new machine in your office and it has a D drive with important files, you're completely wiping it by default when you're using the MDT task sequence, formats it, partitions, and installs the operating system. So you basically lose all that stuff. Now, if you want to keep the recovery portion of it as well as you want to keep the D drive, the way to do it is the first step that you want to do is within your MDT 2012 server, you want to go inside your deployment share. And within your deployment share, there's a scripts folder. Within the scripts folder, I created a text file with this part uh, commands. Okay. Now, uh, I gave it a name as this part only C. So you guys can basically name it whatever you want. But make sure you remember the name because you're going to be using it later when you're configuring the task sequence stuff. So I'm going to double click on this file. And this is what the commands that I gave it. I'm selecting this zero. And then I'm selecting partition one. Now make sure you choose the correct number when you're selecting the partition. Okay. Then I'm um, pushing out a format of uh, FS equals to NTFS. And I'm also labeling the partition as OS and I'm doing a quick format. And then I'm exiting out. Okay. Once you do that, save it. Make sure that you know the name. And now it's time to uh, manipulate your task sequence. Now, I went ahead and inside my task sequence, I created a folder called Partition OS Images. And I created a standard um, task sequence. So I right clicked on it, new task sequence. I gave it a name, gave it a name, uh, task sequence comments if you guys have. And I did a standard client task sequence. And then I follow all the prompts. Okay. Um, then once you do that, Double click on it and it's time to manipulate the task sequence. Now the first thing that you want to do is you got two options. You can either delete it or disable it. In my case, I just disable it. So you want to go to pre-install, new computer only, format partition disk. You don't want this to happen. You don't want it to be formatted and you don't want it to be partitioned. Because remember, if you format it, it's going to erase the entire hard drive and you're going to lose all that good stuff that you want to keep. So in my case, I just disable it. Now, next thing that you want to do within the new computer only, you want to go to new, general, command line. Once you do that, um, you want to give it a name. For me, in my case, I gave it custom C format. Now, the command line is very important. So, the command line is this part, forward slash S, open quotation, per, uh, percent, script root percent, backslash, this part only C dot TXC close close the quotes now whatever name you gave that text file you gotta make sure that's what you put there okay once you do that the next step that you have to do you gotta go inside the install folder and go to install operating systems I believe by default it's on logical drive letter stored in variable but you want to change it into specific disk and partition uh, this zero partition one. Now remember, partition one, whatever number that you place on the text file has to match this guy. Okay? Gotta make sure this matches what the text file says. Once you do that, you apply it, okay it, and run an update. Okay? This way, when the task sequence runs, it'll automatically wipe partition one from disk zero and it will not touch any um, any other partition or disk. And that's it, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. Um, please comment. Please subscribe to my channel. And I see you next time. BJ Tech News. Thanks, guys.